Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. Today Arsenal take on Everton in the midday game in the Premier League. We are away from home at Goodison Park. We're hoping to get the three points. We do have a game in hand of Tottenham and Leicester City. Uh, but still, we're a lot of games behind them. So we can't afford to drop any more points. We need a victory, not a draw. We need to win if we're going to have any chance of staying in the league title challenge come the end of the season. Uh, we're not in great form either. We've, we're without a win in the last three games. We drew the last one against Tottenham 2-2. We lost against Swansea and Manchester United just before that. Uh, Everton, as this game kicks off, currently in 12th place. Not in the greatest of form, but the scoring goals have scored 51 goals so far this season. So Lukaku is going to be a huge threat. And he is someone that I think also should buy in the summer. He's been banging goals in left, right and centre again. Ross Barkley is another player that I think Arsenal should sign. And a good chance there for Mez Ozil to give Arsenal a one-goal lead. Six minutes in, still no goals. Here is John Stones, possibly another one that Arsenal could buy. Um, I have brought in Ross Barkley, Stones and Lukaku in my Arsenal career, actually, on FIFA 16. And three great potential players which Arsenal could buy. Whether they do or not, I highly doubt it. We've been recently linked with Ibrahimovic Higuain today. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if Arsene Wenger is still there at the end of the season. What do you guys think? Let me know below. Is it time for Wenger to leave? I'm a big fan of Wenger's, but I know we really need to be pushing at the top of the table. And a lot of performances recently have really let us down. Uh, but let's see. If we can get the victory today, let's don't let ourselves down. Here is Loyal Beck playing it through to Ozil. Unlucky, good defender by Everton. Been a tough game so far. Uh, we're into the final minute of the first period. Not many chances for Everton. A couple for Arsenal, but we've just not been able to trouble the goalkeeper enough. And we're still looking for the first goal of the game. Can we get it in the dying minutes of this half? Or the dying seconds, I should say. And Alexis Sanchez playing it in the middle. Could have played out wide there, but Danny Welbeck's through. He shoots and he scores. There we go, Danny Welbeck. He has been in good form recently for Arsenal. Been showing some great energy around the field, helping the other players get in there. And he's had a good few chances. Now, he has missed a couple of as well. But it's nice to see him getting in there in the first place. Well, that's a nice finish. Went across the keeper. Far post. That is Arsenal 1-0 up now on the stroke half time. Let's hold on. And this will be a big, important three points. Even if it is just a 1-0 win, it will be good for Arsenal just to get that victory. Get back to winning ways before we head into the final few of the season. And here is Alexis Sanchez for Arsenal. Tried to cut inside, but Seamus Coleman, he read that one. And he gets the ball back for Everton. But he's lost it. Alexis Sanchez taking advantage. He's in a cross. He does cross. Oh, what is Ozil doing? He tried a little bit of skill. He missed it. Arsenal still attacking. Oh, Nene looking for his second Arsenal goal. He did score in midweek against Barcelona. Uh, but it doesn't look like he's going to get one today. Bellerin chasing back there. I know Flamini started in my game today, but I think he's actually missing uh, the game against Everton. At lunchtime, here he is. He's just lost the ball to McCarthy. And we're into the final couple of minutes of this match then. It's still Everton 0, Arsenal 1. And there is Gareth Barry for Everton. Winning possession. Or Everton going to steal a point later on here. No, nope, good interception by Theo Walcott. And then a nice little back heel. And then he plays it forward. Kieran Gibbs. Why is Kieran Gibbs all the way in midfield? But anyway, there is the final whistle. We do get a big, big, big three points. Thanks for watching guys, if you like the video please hit like, comment if you want to below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, peace!